Hi, Cynthia here from OhSoPinteresting.com, and today we're going to talk a little bit about adding a watermark to your image. Now, for a couple of reasons, you might want to do that to increase brand awareness, but mostly to protect your work. There's a lot of people out there that are wanting to take your images and redirect the links, especially from Pinterest, to their site instead of to yours. So adding a watermark would give people a way to find your content instead of just thinking it came from the spammer site. Anyway, I'm using PicMonkey today. It's a very easy and free to use service. Most of the features on here are free. There is a paid option, but today I'm gonna to show you how you can do this for free. On over to the edit photo box here and you can either drag an image from your desktop or click on this box to open up your hard drive to select an image from there. I've already done that step and I've opened up this image and to start off with I'm going to add a logo as a watermark and that's really easy to do. I have a PNG file of my logo already made and you come on over, over here to overlays. It's the icon with the heart and the starburst and that type of thing. Go ahead and give that a click. Come on up to the top and click on your own. And here is my logo. I'm gonna go ahead and upload that. And as you can see, it's a PNG file, which means it has a transparent background, so it blends really well. I can drag it around and change the size and the dimensions of all that there, really easy to do. But I just want it kind of small. And, and here up in the corner, I don't want it to take away from the focus of the main image here, whatever this is, it's just actually some paper. But um, you know, I just kind of want it there. It'll help dissuade spammers from taking it and it'll also increase my brand awareness. People will get used to seeing my logo on the different images pinned to Pinterest and they'll start to recognize that. Actually, I've already had somebody tell me, hey, I recognize your logo. So that was pretty cool to hear. So let's look at the option of adding text to your image. Come on over to the sidebar again, click on the P, which is to add text, and click on the add text box at the top, and drag the box kind of wherever you want it. As you can see, there are tons of fonts to choose from. Um, the ones down here with the little crown around it are the ones that are the additional paid part of PicMonkey, but you can see there's lots of choices um, to select from without having to pay an additional fee or an additional charge. And go ahead and just type whatever it is that you would like to watermark your image with. Now, as you can see, it doesn't fit in this box, but it's really easy to change. You just kind of click on it, drag the sides, and it makes it as wide as you need to. And black isn't really working, so let's change it to a white image. Easy to do. You just click in the box and then come on over to this selector over here, and you can just drag around and change it to whatever color you want. I can even click in this little box here on the side, and it picks up a dropper so I can select a color that is actually in the image to make it. I can make it specifically that orange. Pretty cool, huh? I am going to go just to white and this is kind of big. I don't want it, like I said, I just kind of want it to be in the picture but not the focus of the picture. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit, put it up here in the corner and then I can even fade it just dragging this and it kind of blends in. There we go. So now I have the watermark of my URL so when people find this they can, you know, know where it came from. Well, I hope you found that helpful, and as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And for more tips about how to use Pinterest to grow your business or exposure to your blog, come on over to ohsopinteresting.com. Thanks.